to using the unit circle on the right find the value of each of the following so a sine 330 so a sine 300 30. So unit circle, we can see that here the radius is 1. Okay, so we see here the radius is 1. Okay, so we have to know which direction are we going. So we know that negative, so we know that positive angle means it's going counterclockwise direction and negative means it's going clockwise direction. Okay, so now we have 330. So we see here 1 quadrant is divided by 3. So that means that 1 quadrant is 30 degree. So 330 means you are going counterclockwise from the x axis obviously because everything starts from this axis. So we know that the first quadrant up to here is 180 up to the third quadrant is 270. So this one is 300 and this one is 330. So 330 is this line. So we know the angle is calculated from the x axis. So this one is the triangle. So you see the triangle. So usually when we do trigo, we are using so cha toa. So we have so cha toa here to know which uh, sides to be calculated. So sine theta is equal to O and H. So, O and H, so opposite divided by hypotenuse. So, if this is a theta, opposite is this one. So, this is the length or we can say it is Y. What is our Y? So, our Y is negative 1 over 2. is equal to O divided by H, which is equal to negative 1 over 2. And then, our H, our H is hypotenuse, is the radius which is 1. So here we get negative 1 over 2. So B, so now we have tangent 2 over 3 pi. Okay. So just now we use uh, degree, right? So we know that 1 quadrant, so we know that 1 quadrant is pi over 2 right so if we divide by 3 so it's mean pi over 2 divided by 3 so we get pi over 6 so which means that 1 here is pi over 6 okay so now we have tangent 2 over 3 pi or which is equal to tangent 4 over 6 pi so 4 over 6 means it's move 4 and we can see that it is positive. So, positive is counterclockwise. So, 4, so pi over 6, pi over 6, up until here. So, this is 4 over 6. So, this is it. And we know that we are calculating from the x axis. So, this is the angle. Okay, don't, don't uh, make a mistake. Not from the y, must be from the x axis. So, from the x, from the axis here, up to here is this angle. So we see here tangent. So oh, delete. So cha toa. So tangent is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So opposite. So if this is the angle, so opposite. So opposite is this line, which is our y. So our y is set 3 over 2 divided by so adjacent right because this one formula tangent is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So adjacent is here which is our x. So our x is negative 1 over 2. So when you divide it we get set 3 over this one 2 and 2 can be cut off. So 1 this is negative so it's negative set 3. So C cotangent 7 over 6 pi. So we see here cotangent 7 over 6 pi. So this one 7 over 6 pi. So we know that this one is actually cotangent. Angle is pi over pi plus 1 over 6 pi. Why? Because I know that pi is 
180 degrees so that it will be easier for us to make rotation. So we check out where is the line first. So we see here this one is positive. So positive is counterclockwise. So counterclockwise. So that's mean pi. Pi is from 0 to here is pi. Because we start, we must start from the x axis. So this one is pi plus 1 over 6. So we know that 1, this one is 1 over 6. So here. So we must, the angle must be from the x axis. So it is here, here. So this is the angle. So here this is the triangle that we are talking. And we know that cotangent, so to use the formula, it must be sine cos tangent. Cotangent, we can use tangent. Cotangent is equal to 1 over tangent. 1 over tangent, just put 7 over 6 pi. So here, tangent, we just use tangent first. So tangent 7 over 6 pi is equal to O divided by A. You see from the formula, opposite divided by adjacent. From this angle, opposite of this angle is this line, which is our Y. Our Y is negative 1 over 2, which is equal to negative 1 over 2 divided by. So we see here, this one, adjacent. So adjacent to this angle is this one, which is our X. So our X is negative 3 over 2. So here 2 and 2, negative and negative. So we end up with 1 over 3. So tangent 7 over 6 pi is equal to 1 over 1 over 3. So 1 over tangent is equal to 3 over, over 1. So we see we change place. Because this one change place. So we get 3. So D cos 600. So we can see that it's larger than 360. So it's actually cos 360 plus 240 so this one we can get 600 so here and it is positive so it's going counterclockwise so here counterclockwise positive so from here we can see that 360 is one rotation and then another 240 so from the axis up to here is 180 right 180 so this one 210 240 is here so this is basically the triangle that we wanted to find because it must be from the x axis. So this is a triangle. So now we are going to find cos, right? So we know that cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So here adjacent is right side here. Adjacent is equal to this one is the coordinate of x. So, coordinate of x for this one is negative half. So, this one is negative half divided by hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse is the line here. We know this is one radius circle. So, which is one. So, here we get negative one over two. So E cosecant negative okay never mind cosecant negative seven over two pi. So we know that we uh, cannot use formula for cosecant. No, I mean not formula, but then from this one only so chatwa. So we can change it to sine. Cosecant is equal to one over sine, which is one over sine uh, negative seven over two pi. So here first we need to figure out. Uh, we need to figure out where is this. Uh, angle. So we know 7 over 2, right? So we know that 1 part 2 pi is 1 rotation. So 7 over 2 is equal to 3.5 pi. So it means that 1 rotation, it means that 1 rotation, so means 2 pi plus 1.5 pi. So 1 rotation plus 1.5. So that means that here and we see we have negative means clockwise 
So clockwise from here. So one rotation is here. This one, 2 pi. And then another 1.5. So this one is 1. 1 pi. This is 1.5 pi. This one is one rotation. 1.5 pi means uh, 3 quadrant. So up until here. So this is what we get. So here the angle must be from the x. So this is our angle. So this means sine. So this is the angle here. So that sine 90 is equal to 1. So this one is equal to 1. So just remember so from our graph so we know that this one sin 90 is equal to 1 or you can just use your, your calculator 90 are supposed to get 1 you cannot do opposite and hypotenuse with 90 okay so here it is a coordinate of y so f sin pi over 2 so we know that sin pi over 2 is up until here which is coordinate of y because sin 90 is 1 okay this one is 1 minus secant 3 pi we cannot get se this one is 1 minus secant we cannot calculate secant from the formula so secant is actually 1 over cos 3 pi so we have to find what is our cos 3 pi first. So we know that this one the angle is positive so it's going counter clockwise. So this one 3 pi is equal to cos 2 pi plus pi. You see this one is one rotation. So this one you see positive. So one rotation this one is 2 pi and then pi means 180. So up until here. So here, this is the line. So for cos, so this one is negative 1. So cos 180 is negative 1 or coordinate of x. For sin, we use coordinate of y just now here. So here, which is equal to 1 minus. So this one is actually negative, which is equal to negative 1. So 1 minus negative 1. So you ended up with 2.